Have you heard about topical estrogen for the skin? Yep, everyone's talking about it and I've had so many questions to talk about it. But before you start doing something, it's important to know what are the risks, what are the benefits, is this something you should be doing? Hi, I'm Dr. Alexandra Brown, I'm a board certified dermatologist. Today we're going to discuss all things topical estrogen in respect to skin and anti-aging. We will discuss what does research show, what are some of the benefits, what are the limitations, safety of topical estrogen, and whether or not you should be doing this. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button before we dive in. Let's talk about what role estrogen has in skin aging. As women enter perimenopause and menopause, our estrogen drops dramatically. And we notice that not just in our reproductive health, we notice that in our bone and also in the skin. Estrogen contributes to the skin firmness and thickness and moisture retention. So when we hit menopause, perimenopause, we start losing significant amounts of estrogen. That can be noticed in skin as dehydration, appearance of those fine lines and wrinkling, thinning of the skin, sagging, and jowls. So estrogen is crucial at maintaining youthful appearance in the skin by stimulating collagen production, allowing for retention of the moisture and firming of the skin. Up to 30% of collagen is lost in the first five years of menopause, and after that, about 2% per year is lost. So the earlier we can replace that, the earlier we can slow down some of the signs of aging that we see in the skin as we enter menopause. So why should you consider estrogen creams? I mean, we have hyaluronic acid, retinols, peptides, everything. Why estrogen? If you think about it, it when you lose estrogen, you lose the skin firmness, elasticity. So why not replace what you've lost? For women experiencing hormonal changes and experiencing estrogen loss, replacing estrogen topically may just be the thing to get the skin firmness and get the healthy looking skin they used to have. When applied topically, estrogen will help stimulate collagen production, increase moisture retention, and give that youthful skin appearance. Studies have shown that application of topical estrogen can improve skin firmness, decrease appearance of wrinkles, and improve skin hydration. So how do estrogen creams work? Number one, they increase collagen production and help with hydration. Estrogen directly impacts collagen production, which is why as we lose estrogen, we notice thinning and wrinkling of the skin. This is very noticeable, probably in the early perimenopause, definitely during menopause. According to 1996 study from University of Vienna, perimenopausal women who applied estrogen topically for six months saw a significant improvement in elasticity and firmness with wrinkles becoming less deep and pores were even smaller. Second, estrogen works by increasing moisture retention. Estrogen boosts skin's ability to retain moisture, and hydrated skin looks plumper and has less wrinkles. A 2013 study by University of Bradford showed that estrogen significantly increased skin hydration and collagen production, which led to better skin structure and more youthful appearance. And women who used estrogen topically showed less skin dryness and better skin resilience. And a third, another benefit of estrogen is that these creams help increase the skin's regeneration process. This can help with wound healing, sometimes with hyperpigmentation, but that could be double-edged sword. We're gonna talk about hyperpigmentation in a little bit. A 2015 review in the International Journal of Women's Dermatology showed that topical estrogen could even help improve age spots and aid in faster recovery from environmental damage such as UV damage. One thing you might be thinking is if I'm applying estrogen topically, how much of that is really absorbed? Is that going to increase risk of breast cancer or other hormonally mediated cancers? And studies were done to show that that's really not the case. The amount of estrogen that's absorbed through topical application is very minimal. That being said, this is something that before you start topical estrogen, you definitely need to discuss with your primary care physician, your gynecologist, or your oncologist. This is especially the case if you have history of hormonally sensitive or in hormonally responsive cancers. Another possible side effect of topical estrogen application is increased hyperpigmentation. And you might say, well, you just said it can improve hyperpigmentation. And I did. There's a big difference between age spots and melasma. Age spots are just little sun perfectly shaped individual spots on sun exposed sites and topical application of estrogen may actually help improve appearance of those. But if you suffer from melasma, there is a chance that topical application of estrogen may worsen your melasma. Melasma is a little bit different. You can distinguish melasma from the age spots 
by looking for certain patterns. So melasma typically has more broad patches and this is more prominent on certain areas of the face. One pattern of melasma is the forehead and the cheeks. Another pattern could be the cheeks and the jawline or it can also show up in the upper lip. So if you are considering starting topical estrogen and you have a history of hyperpigmentation and you're not sure if these are just brown patches from the sun or if this is really melasma, make sure you check with your board certified dermatologist prior to starting topical estrogen cream. So now that you know the benefits and you know some of the risks, who should be on topical estrogen? Who's this appropriate for? If you're in your 20s and 30s and you're trying to slow down the aging process, this is not your jam. This is really for women who are experiencing aging side effects or aging signs in their skin due to deficiency of estrogen. These are things that you may want to consider talking to your gynecologist to be diagnosed as perimenopausal or menopausal prior to the replacement. If you're somebody who is in their 30s and you are not experiencing any perimenopausal or menopausal symptoms, this is probably not ideal. To tackle brown spots at a younger age, we have retinols, tinted sunscreens, azelaic acid, other topicals that are proven to be safe and effective. Topical estrogen should be reserved for those who are experiencing deficiency of estrogen systemically and should always be discussed with a physician prior to starting replacement. As someone who's entering perimenopause myself, I really hope we get more research on this. I think better and bigger studies are needed before everyone is routinely placed on topical estrogen as part of their perimenopausal anti-aging process. That is all I have for you on topical estrogen today. Please remember this is appropriate for those who are perimenopausal or menopausal, and even then, make sure to discuss with your healthcare professional prior to starting topical cream. Until then, stick with your antioxidant, your retinol, and your sunscreen. I hope we get more research on this topic. In the meantime, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and hit the subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Dr. Alexandra Brown, and that is Dr. A-L-E-K-S, no X. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.